Hello and welcome to Sora Source Classes. In this video lecture, I'll be covering basically the exam pattern of the physics general degree in detail. So in my uh, earlier videos, I've talked in detail about the course structure of the physics general degree and the different kinds of topics that are involved which you can study in the general degree and the kind the number of electives that you have uh, at your disposal and the ones you can choose depending on which career you look forward to. So in today's video, this is going to be a bit more specific. This it is going to be mostly on the exam pattern of the physics general degree. And so uh, this there are roughly six categories uh, and basically on which the exams are divided into. The, the categories in, in include conducted by, the venue, the marks of the exam, the questions, the marks per question, and the total number of questions and the time allotted in each exams. So based on the six categories, I'll basi I've basically divided up all the exams that you'll be taking in your six semesters of the undergrad general degree. So first, there is the internal exam. There is the internal exam, which is conducted by the college. So your exam, it will happen at your home college and it carries a total of 10 marks. And so there are 10 questions to attempt out of 15, and each question carries two marks. But so in the end, it's a total of 20, but it is scaled down to 10 in the end when grading the student. And the total exam happens in a total in a time of one hour. Then we have had the core course theory exam, which is conducted by the university, so it happens outside of the college. So I've written it as away. And the total marks allotted, total marks is 50, which involves five questions of two marks each out of seven, and four questions of 10 marks each that you need to attempt out of six, and the total time allotted is two hours. Then we have the practical exams, the core course practical exams, for which, uh, which is conducted by the college, and so it happens in your home college, and it's a total of 30 marks. And which involves three category sections in itself. So one of them is a lab workbook, which has a total of five marks allotted to it. And then you have the viva, denoted by V. So we have a total of five marks allotted to the viva. And then you have the experiment itself, which has about 20 marks, uh, weightage of 20. And it's a total of the exam time is a total of three hours. So the practical exams are all three hours exam. Then you have uh, the discipline specific elective exams, which is also divided up into theory and practical. The theory exam is conducted by the university, so it happens outside of your college and it has a total weight of 50 marks. And so it, you have to attempt about five questions out of seven of two marks each and four questions out of six of 10 marks each with the total time of two hours. Then you have the practical exams, which is conducted by the college, and it has a total weightage of 30, which just like the CC practical exam has a lab workbook, which has a weightage of five marks, a viva with a weightage of five marks, and experiment with a weightage of 20 marks, and a total time of three hours for the practicals. Then you have the DSC theory exam, which is different from the first one, it's also conducted by the university, but it has a total weight of 65 marks. And now you see, you have a total of five questions to attempt out of seven, of two marks each, three questions out of five, of five marks each, and four questions to attempt out of six, of 10 marks each, and it has a total of three hours. Unlike the first one where you see the exam time is a total of two hours, and here it is a total of three hours, followed by the DSE tutorial, tutorial, which is conducted by the college itself, and which has a total weightage of 15 marks, and which does not have any time limitations uh, on it. So these uh, color, these rows are left blank. And finally, you have the SEC, or Skill Enhancement course, and there's a theory part to it. And then there's a project part, which itself has a theory part, and a project um, itself, and the project itself. So theory part of the SEC, exam is conducted by the university again and there's a total weight of 80 marks with, with a total of 10 questions to be attempted of 12 of 2 marks each, 4 questions to be attempted out of 6 of 5 marks each and 4 questions to be attempted out of 6 of 10 marks each and total time of 3 hours to complete the exam. And finally you have the project which has a theory part which is conducted by the university 
and it basically has about 12 MCQ questions out of which you need to attempt only 10. They're all two marks each and the exam time is about half an hour or 30 minutes. And finally you have the project itself which is graded by the college and it, is, it has a total of 60 uh, marks. As you can see and there is no time limit so these rows are all left blank. So that is basically all the types of exams you're likely to take in your undergrad uh, uh, general degree in physics. So as you can see, some of the exams are conducted by the college, some of the exams are conducted by the university, different exams have different uh, weightages, and the practical exams, as you can see, the practical exams are all three hours duration, and there is, and basically then, the, and the DSE exams have a tutorial session which does not have any time limit and which just has a total weightage of 15, more 15 marks, and uh, there is a project involved in this skill enhancement uh, course which also does not have any kind of exam, a regular exam pattern, it just has a total weightage of 60. So that is all the different kinds of exams that you're going to be taking in your physics general exam. I hope you found this categorization useful and helpful and thanks a lot for watching.